Hello everybody. Now we will go to the actual structure activity relationship of beta lactam antibiotics and we will talk about penicillins. So there are this structure active relationship is again divided into two parts. This part one is the essential features and part two is the variables. The learning objectives of this video includes to identify the essential features groups of penicillins, be able to distinguish groups related to activity and stability, explain the importance of the beta-lactam ring in the structure with respect to its mechanism of action, identify and correlate the variable groups and their ability to enhance or reduce activity and stability of penicillins. So let's in brief review what we studied till now in the last two videos. We said that there is a cell wall in bacteria which is not present in humans. The peptidoglycan is a very important constituent of the cell wall which provides the bacteria with its rigidity and strength. The role of transpeptidase in the formation of this peptidoglycan is very important. The, there is another enzyme which is carboxypeptidase which can also do the same thing. The beta lactams inhibit transpeptidase by irreversibly binding to the enzyme and thereby stop the cell wall synthesis and there is lysis because of which the bacteria would die. In the problems associated with penicillins, we have seen that a structurally similar enzyme beta lactamase also known as penicillinases is produced by some bacteria that, it, that can inactivate penicillins by hydrolyzing the lactam bond and opening the beta lactam ring. So the most important aspect is binding of penicillin beta lactam ring to the transpeptidase enzyme. This is very very important for any drug to show action against any bacteria. So what does the SAR say? First we will look into what, what do we mean by structure activity relationship. Structure activity relationship simply means the structure of a drug related to its biological actions. And the structure activity relationship is divided into three parts. The first is the pharmacophore which is also known as the essential part of the structure. The second is the variables, what you can change. Do they and what you can change is what kind of groups you can add. When you add groups, but obviously there would be a change in the action or some other parameters. So what can these variables do? Do they increase or decrease the desired action? That is the therapeutic effect or the undesired action? that is the adverse effects or toxic effects or the movement of the drug across the body that is pharmacokinetics or do the variables either increase the solubility of the drug molecule or improve upon the stability of the drug. The third important part of structure activity relationship is the relation of the drug to its stereochemistry. Does the three dimensional arrangement of structure affect any of the above parameters that are listed that is either the action of the drug the essential features or the variables so what shall we learn in the SCR of penicillins the structure active relationship of penicillins in this the pharmacophore the essential part of the structure would be that part of the structure which has an ability to chemically react with binding groups in the enzyme transpeptidase. That means it has to it has to bind to transpeptidase. So that part which is very important to bind to transpeptidase would obviously be part called as the essential part of that structure. Then we will of course see the variables and in the variables we will see as I said, do they increase or decrease? In this case, because we have seen the problems associated with penicillins, 
whether the variables improve upon the asset stability and if they do that means they are orally active or if they do not that means the truck has to be given parent -tree. Second is do the variables improve upon the stability against beta lactamases that means is the drug sensitive to beta lactamase that means it can get degraded or it is resistant to beta lactamase that means it can show against a more number of microorganisms or bacteria action against more bacteria and third is the spectrum of action whether it is narrow broad or extended the stereochemistry as i said will also be looked into so this is a general structure of penicillins whenever you study SAR most of the time you have a general structure which says much about what is required in the structure and what can be the variables so we will talk about the essentials the beta this is the beta lactam ring and this as I said before is the most important binding group to transpeptidase. So the beta lactam ring, if you see, this is a cyclic amide. Lactam is a cyclic amide. This is very highly strained. Normally, if it is an open chain amide, it will have an angle of around 120 degrees. But here it is having only 90 degrees. The ring is strained. Therefore, it is reacted to serine hydroxyl of transpeptidase. This is good actually because the ring is strained. Then it can easily interact with the serine hydroxyl and it can bind to transpeptidase. Good for therapeutic action, but this is also the problem because it is also unstable in acid environment and to beta lactamases. The second thing that is attached to this penicillin structure is a bicyclic form the beta lactam ring attached to thiazolidine ring this bicyclic ring system actually increases the strain on the beta lactam ring and therefore the beta lactam ring becomes more reactive to the serine hydroxyl so again as i said increases reactivity but also instability the third is the free carboxylic acid as position three this group binds to a minor group of lysine in transpeptidase and therefore the binding is more perfect more tight and therefore it it is very important this is also an essential group it may however be esterified to form products to increase upon the absorption the acyl amino group this part is again very very important for activity it improves upon the antibiotic action the methyl groups are there there is no conclusive evidence what is the most important thing that it does but it is also said to be important for activity and the cis stereochemistry of the hydrogens at C5 and C6 is also essential for action so when we say essential that means that all this part other than the R is essential that means this R is the variable so we have seen the essential, we have seen the stereochemistry and what is left is R. So we know now that this part of the structure is important to show biological activity by binding to transpeptidase. So let's recap and see what we have seen. So essential is the beta lactam ring. Essential is the bicyclic structure. So beta lactam ring, the bicyclic structure, the carboxylic acid group, the acyl amino side chain and the cis stereochemistry of this hydrogen here. What is not essential is the sulfur. So even if instead of sulfur, if you have a carbon, this would still be active. But sulfur has been found in all clinically used agents. Right. Thank you. In the next video, we shall see about what are the variables and how does it affect the activity.